Hey, Hillary. Thanks for making all the arrangements for the funeral. That must have been a lot of work. I don't need any thanks from the likes of you two. But Hillary, you saved us a lot of trouble by taking care of the zombie's body for us. My husband and I could never thank you enough. Your husband? That's right, the two of us are getting married. Sorry, Hillary, but you just aren't the right woman for me. I'm leaving you and marrying my old girlfriend, Sandra. We're getting a divorce as soon as possible. That's fine with me. Let's get divorced. But I have one condition. Trouble busters. I'm sorry to be such a burden on you, Hillary. You're not a burden at all, Mom. I'm glad to help you in any way I can. If it ever gets too much for you, I wouldn't resent you at all for putting me in a nursing home. Don't be silly. I want to be with you as long as I can until the very end. I would never even think about shipping you off to some nursing home. All right, but I don't want you putting your life on hold for my benefit, dear. Come to think of it, where is that son of mine? Is Matthew out of the house again today? Yeah, Mom. Matthew's out on business right now. That boy's never around the house these days, is he? I'm sorry for raising him to be such a workaholic. It's all right, you don't need to apologize. He's a hardworking man, you did a fine job. I'm Hillary, I'm a housewife taking care of my elderly mother-in-law who lives with me and my husband. She's the kindest, most caring person I know. And for all the 35 years my husband Matthew and I have been married, she's been supporting us every step of the way. The least I can do to pay her back for her kindness by caring for her here at home. I'm home, Hillary! Welcome back, Matthew, how was your day? Long and tiring. Hurry up and fix my dinner. Oh, I see. Can I talk to you about something? What is it, Hillary? Do you think you could spend a little bit more time with your mother? Spend time with my mom? Why would I do that? Matthew, you know that she doesn't have a lot of time left. Your son, it would be good for both you and her to spend more time together. When's the last time you've even spoken to her? Have you seen her at all this week? I know you're busy, but she's your mom, Matthew. Please go and talk to her. No thanks, I'll pass. What? But why? How can you be so cold to your own mother? Don't you remember what the deal was when we let that rotting carcass move in here? The condition I gave was... Matthew, what are you saying? Did you just call your mom a rotting carcass? Yeah, I did. And what of it? She's not good for anything anymore. She's just taking up space. I have half a mind to put her out with the trash on the next pickup day. You can't talk like that about her. Don't you feel any desire to repay her for all the things that she's done for you your whole life? What are you talking about? Since when have you been so sentimental? Why would I need to show her appreciation for doing what parents are supposed to do? She's just doing her job, taking responsibility for bringing me into the world. I don't believe you. I told you I wanted to send her to a nursing home, didn't I? Who was the one who said no to that place? Plan? It was you! You're the one who wanted her to live with us, so you're the one that's got to take care of her! I know that, Matthew. I agreed to that. I'm not asking you to help with her care or anything. All I'm asking for you to do is walk up those stairs, go into your mother's room, and talk to her. I'm not spending one second of my valuable time talking to a zombie. She's your responsibility, Hillary. You talk to her! <sighs> He used to be really good at helping him with his mom, but now he won't even give her the time of day. What's going on with him? Why did he become so cold like this? I went to my mother-in-law's room last night while she was asleep to air my grievances. I do this from time to time. It's one thing that helps me stay sane. And after all, it's not like I have anyone else to listen to my problems. I'm sorry you have to deal with this, Hillary. Oh no, I'm sorry, Mom. Did I wake you up? No, I've been awake since you were talking to Matthew. He called me a zombie, didn't he? Oh, Mom, you don't deserve any of this, dear. I really hope you know that. If you've had enough of my son's nonsense, you can divorce him anytime you please. I've seen how much you've been through with Matthew, and I'm sure that you've only stuck around this long for my sake, am I right? I want you to live your own life on your terms. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have used you as a sounding board for my marital troubles. We just had a little disagreement today, that's all. Don't worry, I'm not even thinking about getting a divorce. I bet Matthew's just tired from working all the time. He'll feel better once he gets some rest and relaxation time. So seriously, Mom, don't worry about me. If you say so, dear. What in the world was I thinking? Complaining to Mom while she was asleep, it's not fair to use her like that. I want my mother-in-law to enjoy the rest of her time on Earth to the fullest extent possible. I can deal with Matthew's moodiness for a little while if it means Mom can live in peace. Then one day... Good afternoon! Oh, hi, Alan. It's nice to see you. My mom here has been looking forward to seeing you all day. Same here, Hillary. I always love coming to see your mom. What would you say about having a little stroll in the park today? The weather's great outside. Shall we be off? That sounds wonderful. You're such a kind young man, Alan. This is my mom's care assistant, Alan. Every week on Mondays and Thursdays, he comes to pick up my mom for a few hours while I go shopping or take care of any errands that I need to run. Okay, the first thing I need to do is pick up groceries at the store. Oh, that's right. I promised Mom I'd pick up her favorite sweets. Whew, I almost forgot. Huh? Wait a second. 
<laughs> I love going on dates with you, Matthew. You're such a perfect gentleman. Oh, Matthew, I wish we could be married right away. I hate having to wait. Don't worry. It won't be much longer. I want to get married just as much as you do, Sandra. So please, just wait for me a little bit longer, okay? I'm just teasing. I'll wait as long as I need to. In the meantime, can we go shopping for my wedding dress together? Matthew, is that you? Huh? Hillary, what are you doing here? Didn't you have work today? Who is this woman? Oh my, is this your lovely wife, Hillary Matthew? Yep, that's her. Oh, this is wonderful. I've wanted to meet you for so long. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Sandra. I'm your husband's subordinate. Oh? Yes, this is Sandra. She works for me. We're on assignment right now. Is that so? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Sandra. I can, uh, why are you staring at me like that? Those clothes, that haircut. Hmm, you're a five at best. I'm a what? Matthew, I feel so sorry for you. How did you put up with this for so long? Everything makes perfect sense now that I've met her in person. Would you mind explaining what you're talking about with my husband? Nothing at all, don't worry about it. I just realized you're half the woman I am, that's all. I never had any competition in the first place. We're not even in the same league. Knock it off, Sandra. Oh, I'm sorry, Matthew. I had no idea she was so homely. Frankly, I think we can break the news anytime we'd like, but I suppose it'd be better to wait just a little bit longer. What news? It's nothing a divorcee like yourself needs to concern yourself with. It doesn't concern you. Divorcee? What do you mean? I'm not divorced. Oopsie. You're not a divorcee yet, are you? Sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself. What are you talking like that for? Are you hiding something from me? Like I said, it doesn't concern you. Yet. We'll let you know once we have a part to play. Well then, Matthew, shall we be off? Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, wait! It's a pity you weren't born as a perfect ten like myself. I guess we can't all be so lucky. What is that woman's problem? She's so rude. Those two don't look like they're working at all. Looks like they're walking arm in arm. Could Matthew be cheating on me? Later that evening. Matthew, you need to tell me more about that woman you were with earlier. Who is she? Is she really just your assistant? It's like I told you, she's my assistant. What's it to you anyway? She's none of your concern. I saw you linking arms as you walked through the mall, Matthew. And you weren't dressed like you were at work. You really don't understand anything, do you? Let's say I was cheating on you. What are you going to do about it? What? You know what would happen if you broke up with me, right? I'm not sure what you're saying. Without you around, who's going to take care of the corpse upstairs? You think I'm going to do it? Ha! Not a chance! I'm gonna chuck her in a cheap nursing home and be done with her. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I'm not gonna spend money on her. I'll just put her down by the curb next garbage day like I told you before. Matthew, you can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Hillary. So before you go and make any stupid decisions, just remember exactly what position you're in right now. Do you want to know the one and only reason I haven't divorced you yet? <laughs> You can't talk to me like that, I'm your wife! For now, but not for much longer. Don't you get it? As long as you are taking care of the zombie, I don't have to waste money on tossing her into a nursing home. That's all you're good for around here. Once my mom kicks the bucket, I'm kicking you to the curb. How dare you! Matthew, I'm ashamed of you. What are you doing out of your room, mom? Go back to your bed! I'm not in the mood to listen to any of your crap right now. I didn't raise you to be such an awful wretch, Matthew. How could you be so cruel to Hillary after all she's done for you? Put me in a nursing home, I'll be fine. I have more than enough money to pay for my own care. Did you think I would just let you waste all that money on yourself? Not a chance! That money isn't yours, it's mine! All of it! It's going straight in my pocket once you finally die. I'm not letting you spend a single cent of my money on anything! Now crawl back into your bed and die already! Don't go getting ahead of yourself, Matthew. You're not getting any of my estate. Are you so senile that you've forgotten how inheritance works? I'm your only son! There's no one else to inherit your estate but me! And if you keep talking back to me like this, I might just have to take matters into my own hands! Ah! Matthew, stop! Don't do that! Oh! Ha ha ha! I hope that taught you how things work around here. Is that all you've got, you little pipsqueak? Come on, you filthy coward. You think you're a big man? Show me what you've got. Are you too scared to fight an elderly woman? Mom, please calm down. He's already angry enough. Don't go making matters worse. You want more? Fine! I'll give you as much as you want! Go to hell, Mom! Matthew, stop! You can't! Matthew, stop! 
Ever since then, Matthew would heap both verbal and physical abuse on his mother every single day. One week later, Mom's condition suddenly took a major turn for the worse, and she was taken to the hospital. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you, Hillary. Thanks to you, these last few months have been some of the happiest of my life. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry I wasn't strong enough to protect you from Matthew. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. You did everything you could do to stop him from hurting me. You're stronger than I even imagined. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you, dear. I didn't tell you this, but the truth is, I wanted Matthew to hit me like that. What? Mom, what are you saying? After I'm gone, go and see my caretaker, Alan. He has a package for you. Once you open that package, everything will make sense. Don't talk like that, Mom. You can't die yet. You're a better daughter-in-law than I could have ever asked for, Hillary. From now on, I want you to live your life for you, on your own terms. I'll always be watching over you, wherever you go and whatever you do. Mom, please. I'm starting to feel a bit sleepy. I think I'll go and head and rest for a while. Good night, Hillary. I love you. I love you too, Mom. With that, Mom closed her eyes and never opened them again. Oh, Mom, thank you for everything. I'll miss you so much. Go ahead and rest. You've earned it. Hillary! Hi, Helen. I appreciate you coming by. Is your husband here? No, he isn't answering his phone. I see. By the way, Mom said you had a package for me, something that had to do with my husband. Do you know what she was talking about? Yeah, I do. That's exactly what I came here to talk to you about. Really? What Alan told me next came as a massive shock to me. I had no idea what my mother was doing. I wish I could have noticed sooner. A short while after Alan left, my husband Matthew finally called me back. Hey! Is it true? Is my mom really dead? Yes, she is. Finally! Finally? Your mom is dead and you're happy? Ha ha ha! Yes! I'm finally rid of that dead weight! I can't believe you, Matthew. You not only abused your mother, but now that she's dead, you're celebrating? You haven't even been home in days. Yeah, I'm actually on vacation in Hawaii right now. You're in Hawaii? With Sandra? I need to come home to collect my windfall. I'm gonna book the next flight home. Don't worry, I'll be there in time for the visitation. Matthew, don't hang up yet. Ugh, he hung up on me. I tried calling him a bunch of times after that, but he never picked up. How can I be so heartless? Going on a trip to Hawaii with his mistress, with his mother in that condition. He's the worst man I've ever met. I'll make him pay for this. Trouble busters. We're here! Looks like we made it just in time! You're not in time, we've already started! And what's with those clothes? Hawaiian shirts, shorts, and sandals to your own mother's visitation? What do you want from me? We're here, aren't we? Anyway, thanks for making all the arrangements for the funeral. That must have been a lot of work. Even so helpful, Hillary. I don't really need any thanks from the likes of you two. But Hillary, you saved us a lot of trouble by taking care of the zombie for us. My husband and I could never thank you enough. Your husband? That's right, Hillary. You see, Matthew and I are getting married. You are? We just got back from Hawaii. It was a bit of an early honeymoon. We had to celebrate when we heard that Matthew's mom would die soon. I guess it's time I told you. Sandra is actually an old girlfriend of mine, and she joined my company about a year ago. It was the first time we'd seen each other in years, but that old flame got rekindled right away. Okay, go on. And that's when it all came to me. Sorry, Hillary, but you just aren't the right woman for me. I'm leaving you and marrying my old girlfriend, Sandra. We're getting a divorce as soon as possible. I told you before, didn't I? I was only keeping keeping you around so you can take care of my mom for me. You really are the lowest of the low. The scum of the earth. A lying, cheating, abusing monster. Call me whatever you want. You're nothing to me anymore. Fine, you want a divorce? Let's get divorced. Yes. We can finally get married, Matthew. We can finally be together. I've waited so long. However, I have one condition. A condition? What is it? Let's hear it. Condition is that we don't divide the assets. We each keep what's ours. Huh? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Fine, I'll agree to your terms. Your house, your car, everything is in Matthew's name. Do you have any idea what that means? You're getting nothing now. Hey, if that's what she wants, that's what she'll get. Sign here, initial here, and that's it. We're divorced and with no property division. It's too late to take that back now. I know. This is the best. My mom was the CEO of her own company back in the day, and I'm getting all over her state. We're rich, Sandra. Filthy, stinking rich. We're set for life. We can buy a huge house in a tropical country and sip drinks out of coconut shells by the sea every day. Uh. Uh, guys, I hate to be the one that has to rain on your parade, but... What do you want? You're not getting anything from Mom's estate. Huh? What do you want about this time? I was trying to tell you, but your Mom's entire estate is actually going to me. Ugh. 
You're such an idiot. Matthew is his mom's only son. When she dies, everything she owns goes straight to him. Oh good, everyone's here. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to come here today. For a first order of business tonight, I'd like you all to watch this video. I got out the projector that I had at the funeral home set up for me, turned everything on, and played a video for everyone else to see. Hello, if you're watching this video, that means that I've already passed away. What? That's my mom! What is this? I wanted to express my gratitude to you all for being so good to me all these years. Allow me to get straight to the point. The purpose of this video is to prevent Matthew from inheriting any of my state. No! What is she saying? She can't do that! I'm her son! It's my God-given right to take everything she had! It's all mine! That's right! She has no right to take that money away from me! The last several months, Matthew has been both verbally and physically abusive towards me. As a result, I've decided to eliminate his status as my heir. As you will soon see, I've left the last will and testament stating such. I've selected Hillary to be the executor to my will, and I'll have her make all the necessary motions in family court to carry out my request. How could he do such a thing? That monster! Wait, hold on! It's not what you think! I've never abused her verbally or physically! I could never do that to my own mother! Please, everyone, you gotta believe me! My mother was suffering from severe dementia toward the end! She wasn't in her right mind! And by the way, would you mind explaining to us all who that woman standing next to you is? Oh, her? Well, she's, uh, my assistant! She works for me! Oh, shut up, Matthew. She's his mistress. No, no I'm not. I'm his assistant, that's all. Well, in any case, next, let's take a look at the video evidence of Matthew's abuse against his mother. What? There's a video? <laughs> this is sickening! You depraved fiend! Well, Matthew, anything to say in your defense now? How did you get that? This doesn't make any sense! This can't be happening! That was all thanks to the help of Alan, Mom's caretaker. He's the one who set up the hidden cameras throughout the house. Hidden cameras? He set up cameras? That's illegal! I'll sue you! To waste your time, Mom gave Alan direct and explicit permission. She did? No way! Why would she do a thing like that? It was all part of her plan to remove you as her heir. How could she do this to me? Alan explained the whole thing to me. Shortly after Mom passed away, he told me that Mom had asked him to set up the cameras because she wanted to preserve the memories of her last few months with her family. She also had him pick up a recording device for herself, and she used that to record the video you just saw of her revealing Matthew's abuse. She gave Alan a USB containing the video footage from the hidden cameras, as well as the recording she made herself, and told him to give them to me after she'd passed away. She was sure that if she egged him on, Matthew would take the bait and punch her. That was a vital piece of her plan to remove Matthew as her heir. No! No! Damn it! I can't believe this is happening! My mom was finally dead! I thought I would be able to live off her inheritance for the rest of my life! But now I'm not gonna get anything?! What are you gonna do now? You had to borrow money to take us on that trip to Hawaii, and we did a lot of shopping there! There's only one choice! Hey, Hillary, listen up! We're splitting mom's inheritance 50-50! No way! Were you unconscious for the last five minutes of our conversation? You signed a binding divorce agreement that stated that there would be no property division. You, you can't hog all that money for yourself. You have to give some of it to us. Yes, I can hog it all for myself. And no, I don't have to give you any. Oh, just so you're aware, I'm also going to sue you for your affair. So be ready for that. Hillary, please don't do that. Don't sue me. You'll ruin me. You heard Sandra, didn't you? I'm up to my eyeballs in debt right now. Did you really expect me to forgive you just like that? This isn't just about your affair, Matthew. You caused your mother, the kindest person I know, unspeakable pain. And I will never, ever forgive you for that. You've got some serious explaining to do, Matthew. Mr. Stevenson! What, what on earth are you doing here? We've lived in the same neighborhood for years, didn't you know? I was walking by your house when I saw your wife looking like she was dressed for a funeral. I asked her what had happened, and she said that your mother's visitation was tonight. I cannot believe what I just saw! Oh no! You made your wife do all the work taking care of your mother while you went to Hawaii with your mistress, who's also your subordinate? I don't think I've even had the displeasure of knowing someone as vile and deplorable as you are, Matthew! Mr. Stevenson, please, let me explain! Sandra isn't my mistress, she's just a... You're both wearing tacky Hawaiian shirts from the same souvenir store, you idiot! I'm contacting HR as soon as possible. Have the two of you transferred to our most remote office in the world! The HR director is my golfing buddy, so I can pull some strings. You can't do this to us! Yeah, we didn't do anything that bad. 
You saw the video, if he treats his own mother like that, how can he be trusted to deal with the company's customers or even its employees? No company would want to employ you. You'd be a massive liability. What am I gonna do? My career is over. How am I gonna pay off my debts? Sandra, what are we gonna do now? We? What do you mean we? You know what I mean. We're gonna get married. After what just happened. Sorry, Matthew, I'm not interested anymore. You can go find someone else to support you financially. No! Sandra, you're all I have left! You can't abandon me! Of course I can. You think I want to move with you to whatever hellhole they're sending you to? I don't feel like spending the prime of my life helping you pay off your debts. So I think it's best we go our separate ways. This was fun while it lasted, but I'm getting off this boat before it sinks any deeper. You understand, don't you, Matthew? Sandra, please! Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the funeral. Oh, and Mr. Stevenson, I quit. Sorry I couldn't give you two weeks' notice. Running away, huh? Coward! Sandra, no! Come back, please! Hey, Sandra, got a minute? Hmm? What do you want now, Hillary? I'm breaking up with him. What more do you want from me? You may not have been involved in abusing my mom, but there's still the issue of your affair. I'll be suing you for that, just like I'm suing Matthew. Why? You're getting all your mom's inheritance already. Isn't that enough for you? You're just being greedy. Don't get me wrong. I don't care much about the money at all. Then why are you suing me? Your issue isn't with me, it's with Matthew. Isn't it obvious? I just hate you, and I want to cause you as much pain as possible. Please wait, Hillary. Wait, for what? You see, the truth is, I'm in a lot of debt too. I can't afford to pay any damages to you over the affair. That'll just make it all the more satisfying when I win a massive judgment against you. Can't you find it in your heart to forgive me? It's all Matthew's fault. He forced me into all of this. I'm a victim. I don't want to hear your fake sob story, Sandra. You're not a victim. You're just as guilty as Matthew is. No! <laughs> After that, Matthew was transferred to an office on an island 10 hours by boat away from the mainland. The good news was that they didn't reduce his pay by all that much. The bad news was he got bit by poisonous snakes and lost one of his legs. The poison hit the rest of his system too and did so much damage that he needs round-the-clock care. Dinner time, Gramps! Here you go! Three slices of bread! Now hurry up and eat it so I can go back to playing video games! <laughs> The agency sent their cheapest available helper, who seems like he's not particularly interested in helping him. I suppose this is karma for what he tried to do to his mom. And as for Sandra, after she resigned from the company and started looking for new work, due to her lack of redeemable skills and horrible personality, so she hasn't been able to find anything. Sandra's parents ended up paying off the judgment I was awarded when I sued her, but they were so furious at her for her deplorable behavior that they kicked her out of the house. She's homeless now, living in public parks and sifting through garbage to find food. As for me, Mom, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Thanks to the money you left when you passed away, I finally realized my dream of starting my own company. I'm doing what you said, and I'm living my life on my own terms. Thank you, Mom. I'll never forget you. Hi, Hillary. Oh, hey, Alan. It's nice to see you again. Did you come by to pay your respects to my mom? You bet. She was the best patient I ever had. I'll miss her a lot. My mom really was an amazing person, wasn't she? She sure was. I've never met anyone like her before, and I doubt I ever will again. I was supposed to be her caretaker. She would always listen to my problems and offer me really useful advice. She was like a second mother to me. I miss her so much. You know, she told me a lot about you too, Hillary. She did? She said that you're a really strong person. You still always push yourself too hard. And if you ever look to be in trouble, that I should help you out in whatever way I can. Wow, my mom really said all that? Yep, and I plan on fulfilling my promise to her. So go ahead and give me a call whenever you need me, okay? If you just want to talk, that's fine too. And, well, if you wanted to go out for dinner or something, my schedule's empty tonight. What a coincidence. I'm free too. It seems like my mom left me something much more valuable than money. She left me someone who I could rely on. I bet mom's watching over me right now from heaven. Thank you, mom. I love you. Trouble Busters.